Hello friends, uh, welcome again and this is my new project payroll management system in Spring Boot microservices which I had developed in Java and uh, front end I have used Angular and back end I am using the OS well. On the Spring Boot side I have used JPA Java for systems and Hibernate also I have used Entity Manager and many of the native queries I have also used. So uh, for development for development environment, I have used STS Spring Tool Suites, but if you have Eclipse, then you can run this project easily on the Eclipse also, but that is Eclipse must have the Spring Boot support. For Angular applications, I have used the Visual Studio. I have developed all of the coding in the Visual Studio code, and uh, I am running it through CLI application. For database, I'm using MySQL, right? So these all technology stacks I have used for developing this project, right? So this is a MVCP based architecture, MVCP model view and controller view I have used. For view I have used Angular. For model and controller development I have used Spring Boot microservices, right? So the, so you can see this is the Spring Boot application, and here I have developed all of the Java classes. These all are the packages you can see here, right? So all of the controllers I have written here. You can see this is a controller, salary controller. All of the logics I have written here. You can see the models file here. This is the employee models file. You can see all of the getter, setter, and constructors I have used here, right? These are all other repositories, right? So you can see the repositories here. You can see these are the native queries I have used, right? So this is a Spring Boot applications, and you can see the database configurations here. So this is the database configurations. I have used Hyper net right and you can see all the dependencies here right so these are all of the dependencies right for running this project means microservices you need to import this code in uh you can say in the sts and after it run this right once you run this then it will run and it will show you the status right so you can see it's started in five point on three seconds and you can access the page means you can open the URL uh, one local host called an ATAT to see but this is the API and we have integrated the API through angular so we have developed angular application for consuming the API so for uh, you can see this is the angular I am running here so you can see this is the running and it's running on the port 4200 so you can see this is running on the port 4200 right so let's start with the functionality go through that what I have implemented is inside this project. So this is a, uh, as I told you earlier, this is a payroll management system and this is a Java Spring Boot, uh, Angular and MySQL based mini project. So I have perf I have performed basic CRUD application, create and read, create, read, update and delete operations, right? So for opening this page, you need to run the Angular application and after that, you can run local host for 4200 right? once you run it then it will ask your credentials to log in without credentials you will not be able to log in right? if you enter the wrong credentials then you will not be able to log in right okay so login once you log inside the system then you will get this dashboard here this is the admin panel right you can perform these operations only because this is a very basic project and i have used i have uh written only CRUD application so this is the employee report here you can see all of the employees if you want to edit the employees just click on the edit you will be able to edit the employees here and once you click on the submit then i just choose the date and click on the submit and that data will be updated into the database so here is mid one two three i'm going to update it and enter you can see it has been saved into updated into the database this is added by section you can see there are a lot of form elements available here but you can't submit a form without entering all of the values here this is a salary report here you can see all of the salary reports right if you want to edit anything just click on edit you will be able to edit the, this all this employee drop down is dynamic and data is coming from the database through api so currently we have uh, five or five employees. So if you add any employees, 
then that employee id will be displayed here also and this is a salary report if you want to delete any salary just click on the delete button and it will be deleted this is add salary from here you will be able to add the employee salary and all the data will be saved into the database through microservices through spring boot microservices and this is a logout if you click on the logout then all the session will be destroyed and you will not be able to access the internal pages you can see it has been redirected to the login page if you log in then you are able to access the admin layouts right so these all functionalities i have developed as i told you earlier this is a java a spring boot microservice angular and mysql based mini project if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate the changes i will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much